Um, oh, everybody. I'm going to take a sippy of my cola. <sighs> Today's special. We're going to be playing Monster oh, yeah, Prom, that's, that's but there's a catch. Since there's four players that can play it at the same time, chat, you're going to be player four. And if you look oh, over gosh, on man. that side, I'm going to start a poll. If you write one or two in chat, you can vote. I fucking hate Miles Tails Prower. What the fuck? <laughs> Max, what? Max. <laughs> Unprovoked? <laughs> Why would you be so mean to my boy Tails? We were on a wild journey to discover who we really were. All right. Sorry, Viz. I'm stealing your boy. <laughs> That's fine. He's a good boy. He deserves to be shared. All right. This is... Chat, this is you. You're cute. Scott Howell, 21. A werewolf athlete Wait, who compensated oh, for his rather yes. small brain with a stupidly huge heart. Himbo. Himbo. Polygeist, 22. A party ghost with an insati insatiable hunger for all the wrong things. Like drugs. <laughs> Damien Leve... I love you, I love you, I love you. And Vera Oberlin. D this name still ca catches me off guard. Uh, 23. <laughs> a mean self-made Gorgon with a merciless sense of business. I want her to step on me. Yeah, that's a bird. Oh, Welcome yeah. to Monster Prom's stupidest pop quiz ever. All mines are rotten, but they are rotten in so many different ways. Wearing no more, we're now using our PhD in bullshit to diagnose which kind of deviant sicko you are. What would be the coolest prize you could find in your box of cereal? The phone number <laughs> of that sexy tiger on the front of the box. He's so passionate about breakfast and health that he's surely also a great lover. Great. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, that sex was great. <laughs> Mmm, consume. <laughs> All right, Twitch chat. I, mean, I know a lot of people want to want Tony the Tiger to dominate them like he's currently dominating this poll, so. Which is the coolest mythological creature? A sphinx, who's super turned up and ready to party, and she wraps all her riddles. She still kills you if you don't answer them correctly, but she wraps the riddles. The invisible hand of the free market. This weird creature I drew when I was six and which is clearly super derivative from other mythological creatures. But it's super cool, and it's my OC and my spirit animal, okay? <laughs> the simple hand of the free market. What would be a killer accessory? Sunglasses. Oh, at God. Night. Sailor Moon's oh. magical wand. Shiny armor. Logitech G5 <laughs> The best RGB gaming speakers. A necklace with your own name, in case you forget. A fabulous purse made from the skin of your worst enemy. That would be the accessory of a killer, I think. Um... Yeah, really difficult decision for Shen here. And Sailor Moon is the winner. <laughs> Y'all are weebs. <clears throat> oh god. If you were a DD character, what would be your class? The prettiest one, gun haver, money maker, obscure moment grammar, fanfic bard, and party smith. Fanfic <laughs> bard. Alright, start. Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't give Twitch chat a gun, please. Twitch chat is too powerful. You can't stop them. They're gonna have the gun. I have no fun. I am not at all fun. Holy shit. Am I gonna have to do it? What's the highest pitch voice you can do? I don't know, but are we gonna find out? All right, fine. We're doing this. So, what is this? Dash on Hon, the son of Prince Prime Minister of Ara Kingdom. <laughs> it's Our the air kingdom. it's Our Our kingdom. Kingdom. Air the air kingdom. Kingdom. The, the air kingdom. Kingdom. I'm trying. <laughs> but this has nothing to do with you. It's not set at spooky high, it's set at creepy high, and the Mer Princess is named Marmanda. <laughs> You know, the last four letters are the what? most magical oh, and important letters of all Mermaconic. <laughs> Why? I should have this dr dribble ripped into shred with a. I can't do this. Okay, Jesus leave Zoe alone, Christ. Miranda. Don't you see she's done you a huge favor by exposing the treachery of Miranda Vendemont? You need to go to Storm Miranda, not Zoe. <laughs> Miranda's right, Zoe. A better writer wouldn't even need to put something as disgusting as the air people into a fan fiction. It's just a cheap trick for shock mail. It looks self censored and like self censored. <laughs> what are you picking here, Shen? I really want to go with this option. You just want to say self censor and pray. <laughs> I do! <laughs> Oh, 
Shen is right, Miranda. Haven't you ever heard the phrase, don't shoot the messenger? Oh, certainly yes, loads of times. It's what all of Daddy's messengers say, right before he shoots them. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's fucked up. Thanks for that, Shen. Marmanda Vanderbunt may be an extremely thinly veiled stand-in for Miranda, but she's my extremely thinly veiled stand-in for Miranda. <laughs> I'm excited to continue her romantic adventures, and I hope you'll join me. By join her, Zoe means uh, read her fic, which you realize oh, when don't. she sends you a link in her mind. I love her. Yeah. <laughs> I, love her. <laughs> bunch, man. I love her so much. <laughs> you guys need fucking boldness. Look at that. Yeah, Jesus you guys, you guys are pussies. <laughs> You guys are right. bottoms, Here that's we what go. you are. Alright, yeah, well, we have an overwhelming winner. I don't think we need to make the poll go any longer. Man, you guys, chat, y'all want to pee so badly? You guys want to pee Halo theme with so the boys. <laughs> I'm not oh, saying chat. that's definitely how you lost your horn. I'm just saying that's one of my head cannons for it. Headcannons! Stop making up cannons about my head. The only cannons I like are the ones with two ends. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the Canaan has three ends. Hey, we never said that Damien was smart. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm going insane. Uh, as we all know, <laughs> demon horns are powerful of aphrodisiac. It's not hard to imagine how Damien lost his wink. <laughs> Who gives a fuck how Damien lost his horn? You should see what the other guy lost. It was most things. And three. Two, one. Oh my god! Oh my god! It was off by one vote. You didn't have enough boldness. Other guy. Other guy. You saying I like dudes? I'll have you know that 100% of my best fist fights, knife fights, knife fights, and monster truck rallies have been with women. <laughs> Because I love women! <laughs> yeah, Twitch chat, it's the 21st century. Girls can do anything, even demon poaching. Ever heard of Lizzie Gorgon, who murdered everyone with an axe? Made out of snakes? She was a girl. Ever heard of Vera, who is also a Gorgon and mur murders people and also is a girl? I have an entire spooky high AU called Spookhead High, where everyone is a girl, and they still murder people all the time. Whoa! Spookhead High? That sounds dope! Tell me all about girl Damien. <laughs> totally, but only after Twitch chat leaves. I have a policy of never discussing my fanfic in front of misogynists. <laughs> you lose minus two charm and minus one smarts, you misogynist. See, girls can also take your stats. What, you didn't think the narrator was a girl? More misogyny. She's Damn. so hot. <laughs> I mean, she's made of fire. <laughs> Vera slips you a thick stack of cash on the table. Unfortunately, she pays you in Vera bucks. Move for. <laughs> More fortunately, your <laughs> More fortunately, your stack of error boxes are redeemable for four and a half minutes of intimate eye contact. Juicy. I get petrified and die. <laughs> hey, Zoe, let's do some science. We can throw things at Polly and see what goes through her and what doesn't. <laughs> Allow me to explain Polly's situation quite simply. Texture, solidity, density, heaviness, all synonyms for consistency. So if Polly doesn't have any of that, she'd naturally be inconsistent in her ghost power. All right, here we go. And here we go, chat. Ooh, everybody wants to Ooh. do so. Oh, now you're going to throw shit at? Oh my god, chat. You're so oh. mean! Fucking misogynist. Why do you hate women? It's Twitch chat. Of course Twitch chat hates women. Friend Liam, you seem quite focused. Thus, I apologize for interrupting. But I cannot help noticing that you are frequently absorbed in your technology to the exclusion of all else. As a piece of technology myself, I must admit to being the synthetic equivalent of flattered. <laughs> so verbose. But you, with the entire organic population of this high school at your fingertips, choose to instead Use those finger fingertips to stimulate your smartphone device. Fucking fingering his phone. It intensifies my loneliness to, <laughs> to watch. Liam, you cock. Lean into that feeling. Loneliness is the third coolest emotion, right behind Sundere and none. <laughs> I do not wish to lean into that feeling, Liam. 
I wish for you to lean out of it. You don't know what you're asking, Cal. <laughs> don't know what you're you asking, know Jeff. how many photos are shared on Momentgram alone every hour? 3,958,333.333 repeating. What if, while I was away from my phone seeking organic connection, one of those momentogram posts were to be bad. Who would post a devastatingly condescending emoji? Who would ironically share it along with a gif of Marcel Duchamp languidly smoking a cigarette? Who, I ask you, who? The internet is defenseless without me. I cannot miss a moment. This is unhealthy and bad, and you should not do it anymore. Calculus is right, Liam. How about instead of burying your pink-tinged nose in your phone, you get updates via puppet show Calculus, and I will now perform for you. I'm going to do that one. Uh, 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 oh, no! Uh, uh, puppet show? Of course. A robot doing a puppet show. It's so meta! All that I do is metal, for metal is what I am made of. Incorrect auditory input. Apologize, I realized that you said meta. The puppet show will be meta, friend Liam. We will make it all that you want and more. Violet, Tate, your relationship is so perfect. You're always, always together. Well, they are literally stuck together. And that's the kind of unyielding codependence that I demand from a future multi-hyphenate lover servant self-surf. Error found <laughs> unreasonable expectations. How did you know when you found the one? Hold on. Who was that voice? I'm like 90% sure it's Jacksepticeye. Yeah, it's Jacksepticeye for a robot. Yeah. Top of the morning, ladies and gentlemen, my name is <laughs> I'm embarking on a new criminal enterprise, and I need a conciliaire. The idea is simple, yet brilliant. Think Uber, but for killing people. I call it... Murder. 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 But you take out, you take out the E. Oh no. Hey, yeah. Something has happened, Something's to, happened to you. We're not leaving until someone wins me that adorable Harold McDonghard from erotic fanfiction Dragon Heat Plushie. He's anatomically <laughs> correct. I have calculated the odds of winning ringtone toss success, and they are 0.0005%. It would appear that this game is rigged. Rigged? That's great. No, no, Scott, that's bad. Why? Don't we need it to be rigged? You can't spell rigged without win, and you can't spell win without team. So if we just work together... I mean, no. None of that. Like, actually, none of that. <laughs> Go, Elam! Toss those rigs! Do that sport! Win the thing! Sport, sport, sport! Rig that game! This is just me when I go to a sports game. Elm steps up the ring toss for freezing Come hands. on, England! And throws the rings in the carney's face and then sucker punches him. <laughs> Fucking metal! <laughs> me? Elm takes the Herald Mc Dong Heart plushie and gives it to Zoe. <gasps> Look at his tiny but proportionately huge manhood! He's so cute! Finally! Fuck you, Twitch chat! Ha! Fuck you, Twitch chat! <laughs> oh man, do I have a great uh, prank for you? I call it stealing. <laughs> okay. Oh, what a great prank! <laughs> we can make up a bunch of ridiculous, uh, ridiculous, ridiculous exercises like uh, tug squats. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not looking forward to that one. Hey, babe, new I bottom surgery just dropped. Today. I got morning wood. <laughs> you spot Miranda and Scott in the vicinity. It seems like the perfect opportunity to test your new blanket. You wear it as if you were a goofy ghost and approach them with a spooky boo. While Miranda is explaining something, you unlock the ghost route, and that's why those treacherous air people are the absolute worst, and also most likely tied to the disappearance of Mars Argo. Oh, what's this? A ghost? Perhaps a foreign exchange student? What are you talking about? <laughs> you guys are joking, right? This is clearly just Shen wearing a blanket with eye holes cut in it. Jealousy is a powerful drug, Liam. Do not become addicted. Of course she likes it because it reminds her of a clan rally. <laughs> yeah, Be Liam. <laughs> you don't see anyone saying, Oh, Liam is really just Shen wearing a blanket with <laughs> his eye holes cut in it. <laughs> 
<laughs> you took me out. Like, I just <laughs> fucking gone. So he's catching you up on the latest development of pirate Twitch chat in his spooky high seas fan fiction, and suddenly a portal opens up. While you're having diarrhea. <gasps> Come, my beautiful devourer of worlds, be my horrific bride. Oh no. Zoe Twitch is chat. such a spooky high fan, she might agree to marry the prince just for fanfic purposes. Better stop this right now. Uh, be careful, Zoe has been married 17 times before and eaten every one of her spouse's minds. Why get married when you can bounce on this trampoline? <laughs> you know what? I like that option. You know <laughs> trampoline? I love trampolines. As do I, my blushing bride. I love whatever you love. Yeah. That's how good relationships work, right? You just <sighs> pretend to like whatever the other person likes until one of you dies. Whatever. Here we go. The three of you run over to the trampoline that was in this location for some reason because Spooky High and begin to bounce. This is more fun than tasting the fear seeping out of every pore of my trembling prey. I can jump higher than you. I can jump higher than you. I can jump higher than you. At that moment, the prince jumps so high that he is swooped up by a giant falcon. Oh no. Bye. Oh no. Oh. <gasps> oh. Well, your competition is gone, Twitch chat. Hi, Twitch chat. Hey, guess what? My latest comic, Who Watches the Watchmen Have Sex, just got published in Weird Tales magazine. I worked so hard on it, and it's finally out there in the world. Nothing can ruin this moment for me. Oh. What the fuck send are you? Nude. Is that a Kappa wearing That's a, a send Kappa. nude Star Wars font shirt? Social justice warriors. <laughs> <laughs> What about the artists who aren't part of some cool, sexy, underrepresented minority? What about us? How are we supposed to get recognized? If I was to entertain all of the BS you just said, I'd say, I don't know, maybe through a combination of talent and the numerous connections and avenues you have available to you as a privileged member of society. Don't you use the P word around me, Missy. If I'm privileged, then how come my comic zombie sluts of fuck island? <laughs> 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 This is actually Twitch chat's redemption arc. Gambling seems like the stupid and dangerous decision, but who cares? This time it paid off, so fuck it. I gained plus two money. <laughs> Did you really, as you're feeling like going full ghost with your blanket again? You're oh so my God. <laughs> oh no! Going full blanky mode! What's oh, Miranda? I'm so glad you've come. I have another crime problem which would benefit from your insight. Hold on, wait. Before oh, you continue. No. Okay. Wait. Hmm? No! Oh boy, oh no, oh jeez. Twitch oh, chat. Again? Why is everything, why does everything happen to Twitch chat? Why is it when something goes wrong, it's, it's always, always all 2,000 of you? It's always all 2,000 <laughs> of you. I am currently experiencing two parallel <gasps> lovers, one for your classmate Shen and the other equally strong love for <laughs> Elam. You are familiar with the intimate details of their lives, yes? Please assist me. Which one of your friends has more experience loving a machine? <laughs> Wait, I didn't know I was in this. Well, it should have had a second you, Shen. <laughs> and let me tell man. you, he has blown many. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Gonna be the next one, Shen. Really happy, Shen. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Dad, he's always a chick to Because he's all about safety and protection. <sighs> Did you know that one of my first romantic partners was a pen drive? Okay, a changing the subject. <laughs> <laughs> a student at your school wished to view a certain type of media in the library and so plugged a pen drive full of illicit media into me. Oh dear. I am deeply moved that Elam shares my passion for safety and gently disconnecting pen drives. Remember, it's not the <laughs> precise that matters but how you eject it. You spot Calculus attending to one of his little plans, and you're about to ask if you can help when Dahlia swoops in to ruin everything. Hello, friend. Can I, 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 can I? Yes, yes. Yes, it is I, Dahlia, here to grace you with my presence. 
What are you doing, killing machine? I am watering my newest plants, plant friend, Stevia Wonder. <laughs> All of you saying, Mommy, sorry, Mommy, sorry. What? What do you want? <laughs> We're what all waiting. What are you sorry about? What do you want? All of us are waiting. It's just you. Calculus, uh, your stupid friend stole my candy bar. Got stole your candy bar? What? No, the vending machine. I put money in it, but the candy bar got stuck on the stupid coil thing. Uh, I see. Because we are both machines, <gasps> you assume we are friends. Well, yeah. In this case, you are correct. <laughs> Veronica is my friend, but she is also a vending machine, and so cannot be reasoned with. I am sorry, friend Damien. I knew in using my words it was a mistake. Time to stick my head all up the old vending chute. Friend Thanks Damien, this is, this is a gross violation. A vending machine's chute is like your own organic butthole. I don't care if it is my organic butthole. I paid for that candy bar and I'm going to get it. Calm down, Calculus. There are plenty of good reasons to put your hand in a butthole. <laughs> Mommy. I mean, <laughs> I mean titties. I mean, fuck. If you don't say Vera now, you'll never have a chance to confess your feelings. So you take a deep breath and confess your feelings. Kiss Slayer the Croc on his big crocodile mouth. What the fuck? Here, kiss um, Larry the Croc? Yeah, give me a kiss. Hey, Twitch chat. Aren't you so excited about the con coming up? Con con! Con con! I know what you're thinking. Which con con? Con con the condiments convention! Con con the con, the con artist convention! Nope! It's con con the convention convention for ultimate fans! And I thought maybe uh, we could be ultimate fans together? Aww. I guess what I'm trying to say is... And sorry if this is too soon to ask this, I mean it's hard to determine the relative appropriateness of brief intervals of time when you've been around in various forms for millennia. But would you want to do a couple Aww. cosplay with me? I mean, Aww. if you can think of a good enough pairing. Hell yeah, you would, and you know the most perfect couple cosplay pairing ever. You suggest Naruto and Garfield. <laughs> Don't fuck this up, Twitch chat. Yeah. Don't fuck Don't this up, Twitch chat. the obvious ship. What does ship. this say? Narfield, shut the fuck up! And the obvious ship, let's go! Let's go. Oh my gosh, does that mean you read it, Twitch chat? You've read my masterwork, <laughs> Uzu Macaroni and Cheese, in which Naruto's long-term seduction centers around overriding Garfield's eternal devotion to lasagna with his amazing ninja mac and cheese cooking abilities. What's your favorite chapter? I love the big pup-related plot twist in <laughs> Boruto Die. Boruto Die. <laughs> but I also really like a bad case of the Blood Prison Mondays. And of course, <laughs> The chapter where they finally have penetrative sex is really, really good. All right. Oh, here we go. Oh. Hi, Boo. Prom? <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn oh. it. Nah, ghost are ghosts like super vanilla. I have enough ghosts with myself. If you were something else, maybe like a zombie or a djinn or a Frankenstein monster or the very concept of fear. But no, you're clearly a very realistic ghost, just like me. Wait, you actually are one of those things. Polly out. Oh. And she's phased out before you can take off your stupid blanket. God damn it. Try. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm a little ghost. Let's do this. Ooh. You finally pluck your uh, up your courage and ask your beloved to go to the monster prom with you. All right, I got this. Yep. Hmm. I've given this much thought. This thing is my <gasps> antivirus warns me that you might bring some virus w with you. Oh no. It has labeled you as. No. no! Yet something huh? on my inside gets warm when you're what? around, so how can it be wrong when it feels so right? <laughs> I think I will uninstall my antivirus during prom night, you know, to take my firewall down just for me. Eggplant <laughs> emoji! You finally pluck up your courage and ask your beloved to go to monster prom with you. Prom? Together? Well, you're worthy of my grade. Damn. It means I like you. Aww. Aww. Oh, we look so cute. Prom night was rad. We look you so cute. You knew that during countless millennia, Zoe devoured the saint, the sanity of millions of people, bringing the mice to entire, to entire realities. Yet on prom night, she blew your mind in a very different way. Um, mm -hmm. sure. 
prom? You know what, my dear advisor? I think lately I'm focusing too much on all our crime adventures. It's nice to be rich and feared, but what's the point if I don't get to enjoy life from time to time? So I have the feeling prom night could be a great way to unwind. What do you advise me to do? And then she... Wink. She winks at you. That's so rare that we don't even have art of her doing it. Also because she has an eye covered. I In the end, you and Beaver have a lovely evening together. Followed by lots oh. of thrilling crime adventures. Oh. Vera starts falling for you. She values how you respect her individuality and even supports her career by uh, her trusted advisor. The two of you do a great job of juggling being partners in both love and crime, mostly because Vera is great at everything she does. Or so she reminds you constantly. So beautiful. Crime is always the answer. Those three weeks were maybe the most epic and absurd weeks of our lives. After the monster br What? Is that Pikachu? <laughs> I fucking fell in love with this game. Thank you for gifting a sub to Garfield. 